What's up guys, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and today we're learning about conductors and insulators. Before we begin, please hit that subscribe button and get ready to pause the video and do the starter questions that I'm about to show you right now. There's a whole lot of stuff in our universe made from different materials. Some of these materials let electricity flow through them very easily. Other materials kind of let electricity flow through them, while others, eh, not so much. One thing's for sure is that everything in our universe is made up of like a gazillion, bazillion atoms. I am made from atoms. This wire is made from atoms. Even this string is made from atoms. But my question is why does the wire conduct electricity, but my string doesn't? Well, it's all to do with their atoms and electrons. Now remember, the atom is made of the parent proton and nanny neutron in the middle, and buzzing around the outside is little Eddie the electron. Okay, so here's my wire. My wire is made up of loads of atoms, so let's pretend it's, this is a big version of my wire with the atoms inside of them. In conductors, such as this metal wire, the parent protons, they aren't very strict, they're pretty chill, and they allow their little child, Eddie the Electron, to visit all of his friends' houses and jump from atom to atom along the metal wires of the circuit carrying with him electrical charge. Unfortunately, in insulators, Eddie's parents are very strict. They never let him leave home. Oh, He's man. stuck buzzing around that atom and cannot move and carry electrical charge. Electricity cannot move through insulators. So how do I know which materials are insulators and which are conductors? Well, I can test them to see if electricity flows through them. Let me show you how. By building a circuit with a light bulb and leaving a gap between these two crocodile clips, I can test pretty much any item to see if it's a good conductor or insulator. I just connect my crocodile clips and see if my light bulb turns on. If it turns on, it means the material lets electrons flow through it easily and is an electrical conductor. But if the light bulb doesn't light up, it means the material doesn't let electrons flow through it easily, so it is an insulator. Okay, now we're ready to test out a few objects and see if they are conductors or insulators. Let's make this fun. If you think the object I'm about to test is a conductor and the light bulb will switch on, put your thumbs up. If you think it's an insulator and the light bulb won't switch on, put your thumbs down. Let's start off an easy one. If you were paying attention earlier, you should already know if the coin is a conductor or insulator. And the light bulb's turned on, it's a conductor. Next up we got this ball of blue tact. The light bulb's off, it's an insulator. Try this rubber band. Here. Oh, the light bulb's off, it's an insulator. Next up, we got some tin foil. The bulb's turned on, it's a conductor. Next up, we got this metal spoon. The light bulb's on. Conductor. What about this golden ring? Conductor. I wonder if the diamonds at the top conduct electricity. And they don't. The light bulb's off. Insulator. Let's try the soda can. Conductor. What about this glass vase? Insulator. This string. Insulator. A pencil. The light bulb's off. It's an insulator. What about the lead of a pencil? Hey, conductor. Okay, so here's all of the things that conducted electricity, and here's all of the things that did not conduct electricity. Do you notice anything? From this experiment, I think it's safe to say that metals are good conductors of electricity, while things like string, plastic, rubber, paper, and wood are bad conductors of electricity, or as we like to call them, insulators. Recap time! Good conductors of electricity are materials that let electrons flow through them easily. Bad conductors or insulators are materials that don't let electrons flow through them easily. Bad conductors of electricity or insulators include rubber, plastic, paper, wood, and fabrics. Good conductors of electricity includes metal or graphite, which
which conducts electricity a little bit. And so we've come to the end of our video about conductors and insulators. If you enjoyed this video, then why not check out my video on the journey of electricity from its source to our homes, or learn how to make your very own light bulb or buzz wire game. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button to be notified every time I post a brand new video. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.